I will tell you about Broadcaster's Playout software today. Use this software to run automated movie channels. This allows you to run filler videos, scheduled movies, play full screen video advertisements, banner advertisements, sponsor advertisements and L-Bend advertisements. We can ingest single sources live, and also play network URL. Playout can record and also stream on the internet. In this software, do not install third-party code like other software. And it gives true output, whether it is 4K or HD and SD. The software automatically shows the information graphically of the playing video and next video running. Similarly, info of running movie and next movie is also visible. And the upcoming movies coming up trailer is also seen in a two different style. To add filler videos, there are the songs category tabs, whose multiple categories can also be created. This video is run when no schedule is running. To add movies and schedule, the movie tab have given. Spotted tab have been given to add full screen video advertisements and doing schedule. Bottom edit and sponsor edit tab have been given to add banner advertisement and doing schedule. To add L bend graphics and run according to the time, the L bend tab have been given. The visual info tab has been provided to add or edit infographics composition and display properties. Coming up tab has been provided to add coming up trailer or edit display properties. This is the settings tab. It is used to configure TV out and input cards, and to stream and record the play out, and on or off buttons to the default features. Now the software is being played, the player tab has been given to look at it. If there are any schedule running now, and if there is any other schedule to run on it, then the over schedule tab for it. Bio, how do filler ads in the song category? If we are looking, there are three buttons on this tab. Plus buttons, use it to create new category. The cross buttons use it to delete all the category together. Use the floppy button to save it. Now make a new category. As soon as they clicked on the category button, they ask the name of the category, type the name of the category, and save it. Similarly, you can create multiple categories. In the category below, the Add Songs button has been given, now that click on that button. A new tab is enabled. There are five buttons on this tab. Plus button to add video cross button to delete all the videos at once insert folder button together to insert the entire folder back to the category tab click the back button given and have save button to save it after clicking on the add song button select the video and click open button or save it If you have to insert the entire folder then we'll use the insert folder button. The cross buttons given in the startup of the video file, are a button to delete selected videos. By clicking on the start time button, set the start time of the category. Click on the end time button and set an end time. If you want to link a composition to the category, then click on the browse composition button you will do it. If the category is to be run on a certain day, then check the checkboxes of days, according to that day. And if they do not run, then they will uncheck them. So, we have to keep in mind that any category has become. There should not be any time gap in it. Category should be 24 hours accordingly. 
Now we know how to add movies. Here we have three tabs, the first is the movie list, second is the schedule, and the third is movie setting. Now add the movie, click on the plus button, then there is a row add-on. First of all, the name of the movie will be typed in English. After which it will be typed in the second language, select the font before typing. So in the same way you can create multiple movies here. So now you can link the movie file from it, click on the browse file button to add it, and link the video file. Similarly, all the movies, video files link to this. The look of the movie file duration here. If the movies are to be inserted from a folder, then click on the folder insert button. After that, they will select the folder from which to insert movies and add them, save it. So in this way all the movies that were in that folder are linked to the software. Here we are seeing that the movie name which is in English, takes the software, but if the other language does not take names, so we have to type that name. Select the font before typing. Now I will tell you how to schedule movies. So click on the schedule tab for it. And use this button to create a new schedule. First of all, set the time, when the movie is to be seen, then sets the day. Now click on the select movie file here button and link the movie. After that save it. This is how you can create multiple schedules here. To delete a single schedule, a cross button is given at the beginning of the line. And to delete all the schedule, there is a delete button in the schedule tab. If it is to check that the movie has been played at that time, or it is about to run, then they can click on this button to see it. This is the movie settings tab, here we can create a default time. Here we already have a schedule time, which is the advantage of that, do not have to set the time again and again to do the movie. How do you create time in this, I am showing you here in this. Now that we are scheduled the movie, we do not have to set the time. If you create auto schedule all the movies according to these timings, then first click on the analyze button to analyze them. And then click on the auto schedule button, software will do this randomly. Now I will tell you how to add commercial video advertisements. First, select the Sponsored tab, and then clicking the Add button, Add Commercial Video Advertised List, and then save it. Once the advertisements are added, software sets their running time, one month. If you want to change the start date and end date of advertising, you can set it by clicking here. We use this button to add advertisements to the group. We use play button to play the advertisements immediately. By using this button, we can know which groups of our advertisement are running. As to create a group to run advertisement on time. To make the group, we are into the schedule tab, we have given two ways to create this group, first we make a group one by one, and another by giving a time value, and make our group automatically. We are talking about both of you. To create a new group, click on the new button, and one line add here below, in which we type the name of the group and save it. In this way we will make a group one by one, according to our needs.
If you want to create group automatically, then you click on the new button, a dialog box is open, how many time gap between groups, value given and minute here, and click on the cross button, automatically create all groups. Now you can add advertisements by clicking the edit button on the groups. To add advancement into the group, you have to send right side to the left side, with the help of arrow key. Click here to change time and save. Use this button to add advertisement here. Ok, now I will tell you about overlay advertisements. These advertisement are made from title caster. Two methods are given to run them. The first is bottom edit and second is spawn grid. Graphics that run through the bottom edit, run in the loop, and also run according to time. To add graphics, click on the Add button, and add the compositions. In this way all the compositions come here, now they save them. The composition duration takes 60 seconds to the default, if it is to be modified, then set the value by clicking here. The validity of the composition takes one month to the default, if it is to change. Then by clicking on the start time button, you can change the start time, and if you can change end time, by clicking on the end time button. In the run column it has to be decided which graphics are to run and not run. Check that you have to run, and do not check that does not run. So all the graphics attached here start running in the loop. Now if the graphics are to run according to time, then we go to the group and make groups. So by clicking on this button we save a new group, save it. The start time and end time of the group is set, after that we now add graphics to it. To add graphics, click here on the edit button given in this line, and add graphics. This type of thing can make multi-pale groups. Graphics added in the Spencer edit only go from the group on time. Just like the bottom edit we added the graphics here. And after making the group, and set start or end time here, then these graphics start ruining. They add graphics to it.
Here the graphics are run, on which the play out gets squeeze. And there is a graphics show in the remaining space. Here, add video files of the L bend graphics, and they can run immediately, otherwise they can run in time. To add a new graphics, click here and they save. If this graphics are to be run immediately, then click on the on air button. And if you want to run according to time, then set start time by clicking on the start time button. How long the graphics are to keep displaying on the playout, by clicking the duration here and set it. Play out is to be squeeze, and to reduce the position. We can do all this in the settings from the L-Bend tab provided in the settings. You can run the L-Bend graphics from any position. Software some graphics automatically displays onto the play out, in which they display at, which song is currently running, and which song to run after this, and which movie are going on, and after which movie will run. When full screen advertisements go, then there is a graphics display that is called back in, and it tells how long they will return to the movie or songs. Here we are add these compositions, and we can modify the display properties here. To add graphics, click the T composition button, and save it. To add text file here in the composition as per its type. Set here this value to how long it is to display the graphics on the playout. And save it. If the now movie graphics is to display continues, then keep this condition on. Otherwise keep it off. In how many times this graphics are to be displayed repeatedly, set the value in minute. If back in graphics are to be shown in the total length of time, keep the continues button on, otherwise keep it off. How long do these graphics display before the end of full screen advertisements? Give that value in seconds. Here are added the compositions of the coming up trailer, and modified display properties. This is a delete button to delete composition. In how many times this graphics are to be displayed repeatedly, set the value in minute. To add graphics. Click the T composition button, and save it. To add text file here in the composition as per its type. Set here this value to how long it is to display the graphics on the playout. And save it. From here we can see the preview of the trailer instantly on the playout. It is used to modify the setting of the trailer video. This is the master setting of the playout. Here we are given a window to add 15 composition. The added here compositions are constantly displaying. Click on the browse button to add them, and save it. Any composition that is to be displayed is checked in the checkbox given in the beginning of the line, and it is closed by removing the check. Here are give some buttons. Those who do this work when they are on, and do not work when they are off. Notifications do it to show notifications of action taken by the software. When the software window is open, they will play out on air automatically, if they are on. Keeps the video size auto adjust on the play out. Software will start automatically, when the operating system is open. When the L-Bend graphics will ruining, then bottom edit graphics will hide. When they are on this button, bottom edit are running according to time. Whenever full screen advertisements is run, they split the song and movie. Do you have display these graphics onto the full screen advertisement, then on this condition. When the full screen advertisement displays, they split the movie file. Here we configure a video out device. Set up the resolution of the play out here. Audio channels change from here. 
The output of 4K is on off from here. Video outscaling changes from here. Video interlacing changes from here. The video out device changes from here. Video out source changes here. If you have to do live with a network URL, then go here and paste network URL. After that click on the URL button. Here, the video input device configures. Changes the input device from here, the video source can change here. The video resolutions change here. Audio devices can set here. Here to can changes audio channel. From here we can stream play out, and even record. Keep in mind that only one condition will work at a time. Either you can record, or you can stream. Here select the video format. And here's to set video and audio codec. From here, you can set video bitrate and audio bitrate. Type the URL of the media server to be streaming here. And type the username, password and stream name of the license provided by the media server. After that click on the start button to stream or record. Click the stop button to stop. By clicking start with windows button, streaming and recording starts as software starts. L-Bend graphics will change here. We will set the position of the graphics. To change the height and width from here. From here we will set the speed of the video to be squeeze. In this function software takes snapshot automatically from play out. On this function to take snapshot. Where to save snapshot set the path here. Use this button to set the default path. Time interval sets for snapshot. Set the snapshot with the height and width here.